Thank you very much. Uh, dear colleagues, you can listen that how big harmony is between the different institutions and just uh, the vote in the plenary have shown that inside the parliament there is also more or less unanimity. Nine, more than 90 percentage of the MPs supported the resolution on this uh, year budget. However, behind of this, there is not only a lot of work, but there are tensions and different opinions. It was a hard thing, a hard debate, what is behind us. For the Parliament, it was clear that we are preparing a budget under the crisis. We had to recognize that there are a lot of fears in, in the European citizens. They had problems with the jobs. They were shocked by the, the financial crisis. They were uh, afraid of what will happen with their pension. Uh, naturally, they are shocked by the bad news about the climate change. Uh, and in addition to that, uh, we had the, the milk crisis as well. So we had to answer to these problems. And I think uh, the harmony of this uh, next year budget is rooted in the common will of the Commission, Council and the Parliament to try to manage these problems. Uh, we, we said at the very beginning to the Council that they can regard the European budget as a part of the problem for each member state has a lot of difficulty with their own national budget and we were urging that they can use the European budget as a tool to manage the problems. So Parliament position was that the European budget is a part of the solution but it's also justified to say that the European budget belongs to the problems for it is an expenditure. So it was difficult, but we were able to, to harmonize these things. Uh, we did a lot. We increased uh, the amount if, through the European recovery plan, uh, uh, and, uh, and we managed it in, in the second part of this European recovery plan. But altogether, this plan is five billion. And the European Union is spending 36 billion in each year on the cohesion policy. If this money is used properly and targeted way, that is significantly stronger and have a bigger impact on the European economy than the 5 billion uh, European Economic Recovery Plan. Therefore, the Council and uh, the Parliament had a has a common declaration urging the Member States to use fast, the available sources, and more targeted. It was planned under different conditions. Now, during the crisis, they should update it. And they have all the rights, and the Commission uh, is very flexible to accept new programs, new proposals, if they are increasing the jobs, or they are good in the job creation, or if they are increasing the GDP. That is now what is really important. And uh, I hope that this message in this declaration will really be uh, effective in the Member States. May I say just uh, some words about the microfinance facility, which is a new thing. And uh, that's a problem that a very small business area is difficult to have loans from the banks on on, under normal conditions, this microfinance facility will speed up uh, this, uh, but this, uh, all the solutions for this really small business area. And uh, the another thing that I should like to mention is really the milk issue. Uh, you can say now that the prices are increasing and the crisis is over, but we were sure that this crisis is not connected with the general financial crisis. That is mainly was connected with different uh, decisions made by the European Union. This uh, story of lifting the quota created a competition for which a half of the European farmers were not prepared. A competition is a nice thing, but it must be fair. 
and if it is not fair we should help those who are in difficulties but i must repeat what we have said several times during the preparation of this year's budget that we are not interested only to give an emergency aid to the milk sector but we are interested in the re-evaluation of the whole sector to avoid unnecessary crises and give equal chances that will be one of the jobs of the new commission and i hope that this budget which is quite nice i mean in size 123 billion is is not a peanut especially if we uh, uh, said that our friends in the council originally wanted to give only 120 and the last year budget was 116 and even 2 billion went back to the member states so the gap is is rather high it is the responsibility now the commission and the member states to use this money properly not only legally but efficiently and uh, my next job as a rapporteur will be really the follow up the implementation of this year budget and i will do my best to promote the things into that direction thank you very much for your attention